Boker Tov, Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Article coming out on RT today. Weapons of mass destruction will not be used on the Korean Peninsula, says President Putin. Uh, just the mere fact that President Putin is stating this right here lets us know that there is a high probability uh, that the United States is definitely going to take down Kim Jong-un and no doubt in order to keep Russia out of this conflict, they have agreed that they would not use weapons of mass destruction. Russian President Vladimir Putin is confident that there will be no conflict with the use of weapons of mass destruction in Northeast Asia. He said at an Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok. Vladivostok, by the way, is the, uh, the area right there, the city just above North Korea there. Uh, he goes there, he says, We hope it will not come to a conflict with the use of weapons of mass destruction in Northeast Asia, Russian uh, Pre uh, President Vladimir Putin stated at the Eastern Econom Economic Forum in Vlad Vladivostok. Um, he goes on to say there are possibilities to achieve the settlement of Pyongyang's problem by diplomatic means. This is possible and must be done, he stated. But uh, as it seems very uh, inevitable, President Putin realizes that there is going to be a war on that particular peninsula right on his doorsteps. And we know that there have been generals, Russian generals, that have met with uh, NATO commanders in no doubt this has been one of the subjects that have, that, have, that have topped the agenda there. And supposedly, I'm assuming that they have agreed not to use weapons of mass destruction. And under that pretense, perhaps Russia has agreed to stay out of the battle if that is uh, adhered to when it comes to North Korea. Uh, moving also on to another news here. Moscow rejects the cutting off of North Korea, North Korea from Russian oil supplies. Russia will not stop. Uh, uh, helping the North Koreans with their needs there. They will not be a part of the sanctions there, and understandably so, because Russia has been targeted by the entire NATO community, the European Union, as well as the, the United States, Canada, and other nations around the world trying to cripple his country with sanctions. So he knows how it feels, and he's not going to do this to Kim Jong-un either. Not to say that Kim Jong-un is the best guy on the block by no means, but uh, Russia always going against the grain just to show that they're not going to be bullied around by the United States nor uh, the, the United Nations either one. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benu. We'll be watching this and other news as the day goes on. Shalom. Uh, don't forget, I hope you went back and looked at that uh, message we give again on uh, the return of the Nephilim. If you've not seen that message that we posted yesterday, you've got to watch it. Uh, in fact, if anybody that knows Steve Quell or, or L.A. Marzulli personally, I've spoke to L.A. one time. I haven't really had a chance to get back with him as of yet. I think these men need to hear about this. It is very obvious. I discovered how they're bringing the Nephilim back then, how they're doing it today. They're still doing it. Uh, I don't think I shared it in that video, but I actually have a source that I spoke with that, yes, they are doing this now. They have been birthing these children. They are going beyond that fire veil in order to do it. And uh, it's just very troubling indeed. And everything laying right there in ancient documents and Yeshua claiming that all these things would repeat in this day. So very troubling indeed. I'm Stephen Balloon, Benoon, excuse me, Shalom, God bless you. Ain't Shalom, as there is no peace, unfortunately. I'm Stephen Benoon, Shalom, and good evening.